on Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. I'm Brian Roberts, a senior consultant with Modex. And today we're going to be taking a look at blanket sales and purchase orders in Business Central. Blanket orders, uh, both sales orders and purchase orders, are one way of tracking total quantities, uh, possibly total contracted amounts uh, for both the sales and purchasing side. Um, basically, it allows you to define in advance that you expect to sell 1,000 over the next year where you do not have a delivery schedule yet, and then do individual releases against that. So we'll be taking a look at the process of creating a blanket, doing that individual release, and then we will take a look at the blanket purchase orders as well. So in Business Central, creating a blanket purchase order, uh, in this role center, it happens to be a nice menu option to get here, but you certainly can search for this as well. Creating a blanket sales order looks very similar to creating a regular sales order. You go through most of your standard stuff, pick your customer, you can fill in all your shipping details, things like that, and normal warnings and so on. One thing that is slightly different is over on this part of the screen is you do not have a required by date. Um, instead, at this point when we're creating the blanket, typically you are signing a contract for delivery of a thousand over the next year at some future dates to be specified. So there's no required delivery date at this point in the process. Lines would continue as normal. You're specifying the item you want, and I'm just going to use our favorite desk. This quantity here, let's actually throw in 200. This is your total contract quantity. It's not your shipment quantity. So I could fill in various details, and there's things like you can print a version of this and send it, especially if it's a large contract. You've got your normal attachments, that sort of stuff that you can do to this sales order. But basically, you're done. Uh, sorry, let me clarify that. Done creating the blanket. What we have not yet done is said, oh, this customer wants a shipment against this blanket. This is a blanket purchase order, sorry, blanket sales order. It's not a regular sales order yet. So to actually make a sales order for shipment, you come down here. This quantity is the total contract quantity. The quantity to ship is the amount that the customer wants delivered on this specific shipment date. We need to ship out eight on Friday. These numbers do not need to match. In fact, normally will not match. So I went ahead and make an order. This is going to make a sales order. And I'll tell me the number that it got created in a moment. There is our actual sales order. And at that point, that is a regular sales order. We have um, various dates, things like that. There's our quantity of eight and so on. Pretty much normal process from this point, shipping and invoicing. I do want to point out one detail here. So I did a quick personalize earlier to add a couple of columns to this. The blanket sales order uh, uh, number in line here. So this is the link between the, the original the sales order that just got created and the original blanket uh, sales order. And you can actually drill in here and see a list of the blanket order. Um, it is possible, although rarely done, to create a sales order and then realize that you should have done the release. And instead of deleting it and starting from scratch, you could come in here and manually choose the correct blanket here. Not common process, but certainly available if uh, you forget the correct sequence of steps here. So I'm just going to do a quick shortcut. We are going to go ahead and do a full ship and invoice. We're going to pretend we've gone through our normal process here. Sales order is gone. Let's go back and look at our blanket. That looks the same. Total contract quantity is 200. If I come over here, our quantity shipped and our quantity in have been filled in with eight because we have shipped eight against that contract quantity of 200. You can see that the quantity to ship, that is future shipments, has been updated with 192. I do not need to. So I know they want 16 on the, I don't know, a couple of Fridays. So, boom, go ahead and make that other sales order for the next shipment. So, the key advantage of blanket against your total 
contract quantity on the bucket. Um, for the different delivery schedule, you have a different situation. For example, a customer that places a standard weekly order, but there's no contract fit. So you don't need to keep track of it in this way. You might also want to look at some other features like your sales line or something like that. It would make it quick to, to enter the order and some of these sales reports uh, to perhaps have a year end of know, pricing discounts due to volume or something like that. But they are not the way of solving stuff. Their main benefit is when you've got a contract quantity with no release schedule yet. What I've shown you for blanket sales orders works exactly the same on the purchase side. And I'm not going to go ahead and talk about the details of a, a demonstrate creating a purchase order. Instead, I'm going to pull up one that I already did. In this case, we're buying this item. And I already went ahead and did the receipt. And we received the vendor invoice for five. So this is an example of one that's already in progress. Um, just to do a release against a blanket purchase order, the quantity to receive would be filled in. We want 10. We are releasing delivery of 10 with an expected receipt date of a couple of weeks from now. And then I would process here. Oops, I may change my status. Um, would go ahead and do the make order there to uh, uh, create an individual purchase order. And that would go through the normal sending to the vendor receipt invoicing process and so on. So in summary, there is a quick look at the blanket sales orders and blanket purchase orders in Business Central. Um, if there's any, if you have any questions about the blanket process, feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to assist you with uh, this process or any other questions you have about Business Central. Thanks for your time.